Shalom, 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 Shalom. First and foremost, giving our praises, honor, glory, and worship unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukh, Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Citations to you, Yaku. Alright, I want you to talk uh, kind of a lot too, bro, but my, my, my voice is a little raspy. Yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> really just flowing in the spirit, doing our daily dues, you know, putting forth this lesson. It's been a real busy comeback day for me and the brother. We've been working all day, had to make some different runs and errands as well. But, um, you know, we got to get got to get the work in. And, um, we're going to go into John, the 14th chapter, all right, and we're going to go to the 6th verse. It says, Yahweh Shah said unto him, I want you to break it down. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Right. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, Yahweh Shai is the way. You know, uh, the scriptures say, you know, I stand at the door and, and knock, you know. And if any man open open unto me, I will come in and sup with him. You know, Yahweh Shai. Uh, you know, he's that door. He's, he's the way. Uh, make sure it don't. Oh, the water. He, he's the path. You know, the, the straight gate. All right. He, Yahweh Shai also said, um, of it, uh, if any man uh, take not up his cross and follow me, he cannot be my disciple. So this whole path that we're walking, the straight gate, this this truth, this is Yahweh Shai. You know, if you could read that one more time. Yeah. Yahweh Shai. Uh, Verse 6 of, of John 14. Yahweh Shah says unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. All right, Yahweh Shah, he is the truth. You know, like like a part, elder apostle the bar says, the thing of ours is truth. It's, it's all about Yahweh Shah. He is the truth. He's the way, you know. Well, that's why all the sufferings that, that, that we go through and that we're going to go through is all patterned after the sufferings of Yahweh Shah. When, when you read about everything he went through, the elect is going through it as well, mm-hmm. alright? Well, I gotta put the up for you. You say everything that he went through, the elect are going through as well. Right. To a lesser extent. To a lesser extent, of course. He it, went through a super exaggerated, you know, hell. Like, his hell was exaggerated. Well, he said my burden is light because he right. did the hard, he did the heavy lifting. Right. You know? <clears throat> First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 31. I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, our Lord. I die daily. All right? So, Paul said he dies daily. Going to what the brother was saying, we go through what the heavenly, well, we go through what the, the only begotten son goes through. But guess what? Yahweh Shah died daily and he died for our sins. So, you crucify your flesh daily. You become a new man, a new creature daily. You become reborn daily. All right, that comes with the washing of the of the hands and, and the spirit. All right, you know that old man is being killed. You know, piece by piece, that that old man is still fighting. You know, um, it's still that old man is still trying to fight fight to get in the driver's seat. You know, but the spirit is, is you know being spiritual. You know, doing the right thing. You know, brother, brotherhood, fellowship. Right. You know, piece by piece, the Lord is killing that old man off. That's right. You, 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 was that on that? Uh, that I, what you, what you wanted? I, I was going to say, because you get that in uh, Peter, where it says, uh, uh, arm yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, arm yourself likewise. Oh, shit, I thought it was likewise. The scripture also says, uh, um, uh, though the outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Uh-huh. The inward man, that, that's, that's the spirit. That's what's going into the chariot. When Yahweh Shai comes back with an innumerable uh, army of angels and an armada of chariots with the warrior who calls you a boat, that's our way out of here, getting beamed up into the, one of those ships. And, you know, um, and what was I going to say? Damn. Damn, yeah. yeah, oh, our spirit is the only thing that's going to go into that ship. Yeah. So that's, what, that's the, what's important, not the outward man. The mm-hmm. inward man is being renewed. You got it. Scripture says flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Right. Alright, this is it. You got it. First Peter chapter four, verse one. For as much then as Mashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, 
arm yourselves likewise with the same mind for he that have suffered in the flesh and has ceased from sin. Right, so just like Yahweh Shai suffered, which his suffering was prophesied all throughout the whole scriptures. Right. You know, Isaiah 53, you know, all throughout the Psalms, you know, they, they pierced my hands and my, my feet. You know, uh, uh, what else? You know, did they all uh, laugh not at me? Did they, they, they all gaped upon me? Part of my raiment. Yep. Every, everything that was written of him, you know, that's the suffering of Yahweh Shai, you know, which that made him perfect. He's now on the right hand side of the Most High himself, Yahweh. That made all his sufferings made him perfect. So, us in this truth, we're walking the same path Yahweh Shai walked. He is the path. He said, I'm the way. He's the truth. So, we're walking, you know, after the same pattern of Yahweh Shai. So, we have to arm ourselves, bring it to myself first and foremost. Uh -huh. We have to arm ourselves with the same mind of, I'm in this thing to suffer. I'm in this thing to be purified, to, to, be, to become white. All right? Yeah. The, the Lord, he, he's pretty much like spiritually scrubbing us with, 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 uh, with a sponge. Yeah. He's scrubbing all the filth off of us through the suffering. He's putting us in that, that furnace and burning out all the impurities. All right? Yeah. And like, like Apostle Gabar, you know, once said, he made a, a very profound and heavy statement. He said, um, you know, either the, the suffering is going to make you or it's going to break you. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Uh -huh. Make sure yeah. you get up on your exit, bro. Contact now. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is, uh, I'm going back to uh, St. John, the 14th chapter, <clears throat> 7th verse. You got it, bro. It says, if he, have, if he had known me, you should have known my father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father and suffice of us. Verse 9. Yahusha said unto him, If I've been so long time with you, and yet has that and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that have seen me have seen the Father. Right, and because so Yahweh Shai, he's the express image of the invisible, of the invisible power. You know, so basically, like he, he's he's what the Most High would be if, if he was to come in the flesh. You know, yeah. he, he essentially he's he's a, a miniature Most High God. And he had the mind of Yahweh. Yep. The true image. Yeah, you can apply. No, you do. You can apply. I'm not taking away the diminishing. That's a, that's a legitimate point, but I was just saying from from a spiritual perspective, the true image to be the image of Yahweh is not looking like him, you know. Right. But you got Israelites who look like Yahweh because you got Judites and you know all that. Yeah. But the true depiction or image of, or system of Yahweh is reflecting his works, reflecting his mind. Right. Yahweh reflected part of Yahweh mind reflected the mind of Yahweh. He had he had his thought process. You know? That, right. you know. Go ahead, bro. And that's why at the end of the day, you know, Yahweh Shai always says, It's not my will, it's thy will, Father. He had his thought process. Yep. Even even at his weakest moment when he didn't when he knew they were about to uh, you know uh to arrest him. He knew they were about to arrest him, he knew they were about to do all type of you know, wickedness, lie on him, spit on him, slap him, mock him, humiliate him. He knew that was coming, and then he, you know he prayed that if there was any, if there was another way, Lord. But at the end of the day, he says, "It's your will." What David say? Nah, I hate those who hate thee. You know, rise up against thee. I hate them with a perfect hatred, and I count them my enemy. Right. That's having the same mind. It's like, oh, you hate him. It's like you hate me. Right. You know, yeah. you hate what he talking about. Oh, you hate his laws. You hate when the Lord's judgment. Right. I hate you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And really, you know, these people, they really, they, they don't hate us. They hate Yahweh Shai. Right. Because we don't represent ourselves. We're representatives of Yahweh Shai. Right. Like an ancient world uh, messenger, if you if you attack the messenger, you just, it's, it's as if you attack the king, you know? So you just declare war. So anytime these people come against us, you know, say a little slick shit, mock us, whisper against us, laugh at us, which they do these things, yeah. you know, they really do. 
they're really declaring war against the Most High. So the Lord hates them, and guess what? We hate, we hate them because they hate the Lord. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we hate them because they hate God. Right. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna wrap it up after this one. It says, um, finish this verse up, and it says, Show us the Father. <coughs> verse 10 Believe it thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Right, so he, he gave all the credit to to the most high Yahweh. Right. You know, that's that's who that's who gave us this, this message. He gave it to his son and, and his son gave it to us through the Holy Spirit. You know, that's why we say Yahweh the Most High Bashem and then name Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakudash, which is the Holy Spirit. It, it it trickles down, you know. So and that also proves that they're not the same. Yeah. You know, for you wacky techie Christians out there. You know, oh oh the, the Trinity, the Holy Trinity, you know, the, the Father, God the Father, God the Son. No. That don't make sense. They're not the same person. Why you tell him to sit at his right hand? Why would you tell yourself, hey, self, sit, sit at my right hand? Right. To make, <laughs> like, dude. Right, like, like he's fucking Dr. Manhattan or some shit. Right. He could split himself into multiple. Yeah. Well, she could do that, but no. He didn't do that, though. That's not what it is. He had a son. He, like, he had a... a he created Yahweh Yeah. You know? You know? And then it says, with the words that I speak. Alright? So it's based upon his word, his doctrine. That's how we reflect Yahweh That's how we, we reflect his image. Yeah, which he is the word. Right. Right. In Psalms uh, 40 and 7, uh, he comes in the volume of the book. That's right. Yeah. Yahweh yeah, he's all throughout the, the scriptures, man. From, from Genesis to Revelation, he's all throughout the scriptures. You know? All right, so um, we do hope and we do believe that they listen and edify to the hope of the night. Because I pray this time of glory, worship to you, how about 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 you,